everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations and Pets. Um, last time I left off there was a little bit of a strange affair in the Jones household. John Jones, we thought, kicked the bucket, but no, in a strange kind of time warp continuum, Snowy challenged the Grim Reaper and uh, saved Jun, rescued her from death's door and she's back with us again. So I did some thinking, oh, uh, as we left off last time, I was mulling over a few thoughts in my mind about what we're going to do um, to make use of Jun's new existence. A couple of things were suggested, like we give her her old clothes back in a sort of remake, reliving the good old days, and I might just do that, actually. See if we can give her something that slightly resembles her old look once again, just for old time's sake. Take her, take her back to her old days of her youthful exuberance. And uh, so that will be the first order of the day when dawn breaks. The second order of the day, as we'll just sort of skip through the time, is uh, Jun and Mikey never got their honeymoon. They never got their honeymoon, bless them. So I am thinking that uh, rather delayed, rather belated... <laughs> to say the very least, several years belated, they're going to go on that honeymoon that they never had. Mikey, eager to make up for any opportunity he gets to spend with Jun now, having seen her on death's door, he thinks, hmm, better spend as much time together as possible, make use of the time they've got left. What better way to spend time together than going on honeymoon? So they're going to go on a nice honeymoon to France, which is where they originally planned to go. Maya's not coming along, because why would a stroppy teenager want to go on holiday with her parents, who are going to spend most of the time doing crazy stuff, embarrassing her? She'd rather stay at home with Uncle Johnny Five, getting up to mischief with her own friends. So she's going to stay at home. It's just going to be the two old couple, the old dogs of the family, John and Mikey, jetting off to France for what will probably be their, you know last few moments together, you know, on their own, with no distractions, no work getting in the way. So it's going to be a nice time for those two. So I imagine for the next, at least for this set of updates, and probably the next, uh, it's going to be basically uh, focused on that. Now, as we take Maya off to the fridge to grab herself a <laughs> very, very early breakfast, leftover pancakes, and then she can go and uh, take, a sh take a nice relaxing bath, she's got plenty of time. Um, where am I going with this conversation? <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, she got to grade A last time, which was very good. We're happy, impressed with her improvement. She also has to finish her homework though, so she needs to do that as well. So she'll do that after she's eaten and cleaned herself up. No urgent rush here. As we have more toys left around the place. It's like a sick game here. Creatures are cropping up all mm. over the household. Mm. <laughs> puffs of mm. puffs and, and sparks mm. occurring here, there and everywhere. <laughs> toys appearing. It's uh, it's like almost like a ghostly ghostly uh, affair. Soon mm. as Johnny... What the hell was that? Where's she going? Jun? She wants to go play on the water slide. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, harass the world. Uh, no, Jun. We're going to see if we can make you up to be your old self. So we're going to start off with... Uh, let's see if we can give her some change of clothes. Come here. See if we can... Uh, See if we can give her something that resembles her old attire. I'm not sure we can, but we can at least try. As a as a first first part of the day, really. Gotta go holiday clothes ready in excitement. Speaking of holidays, we need to afford the holiday. We only have 1,616 simoleons. John has just hit 30,000 lifetime reward points, which means we can jet off down here to her long-lost relatives that she somehow didn't seem to remember until now, until they've kicked the bucket and they've uh, 
they've donated some inheritance over to the family, which is rather nice. Look at that. Long lost, twice removed relatives that she deeply misses, of course, donated across to us 33,700 simoleons. Use the money wisely. Well, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will indeed. Thank you very much, long lost relatives. It's been a pleasure. Yes, when Johnny Five eventually reaches level 10, when it comes to painting, he's now level 9, he is going to paint a still life. A lot of people have been asking for a still life to be painted of the family, to be too. to serve as a memento. So I'm going to see if we can get her looking like her old self, so bear with me. I'll temporarily pause it and we'll be back when I've finished. Okay folks, I've done my tinkering. It didn't take me too long, it took me about uh, five minutes. And uh, here she is, it's Jun. <laughs> if you almost look at the from far away, you think, oh my god, she looks young again. At least I think so. <laughs> She's not exactly the same style as before, in terms of exact match clothing, but it's the same kind of style. She's got a old, old hairstyle back. She's got the glasses. She's got the uh, yellow, yellow top. It's a little bit more. It's a bit. It's a little bit less skimpy than the previous number that she used to have. Of course, she's an elder now. She has to show some decency, a little tiny hint of class, not a great deal, and uh, a nice skirt there. Kind of short for an old lady, but hey, we're really living our youth here. So here she is. It's almost like the re the old Joan now. She's going to be much more fun living life to the max, and she's uh, even spiced up her attire. <laughs> Bless her. She's having a right blast now, I'm telling you. She's going to never be, the, you know, you're never going to recognise her. So she's going to grab herself a quick bite to eat before we start preparing for the holiday. I don't know where Maya thinks she's going. She needs to crack on with her homework, so we're going to give her uh, some homework time. Snow is up and Adam. He can go eat his breakfast, although he's probably going to sniff at Jun, thinking, what in the hell is going... No, nope, he's going to jump on the bed and make up Mikey. Go on then, I'll let you. Bit of congestion here. Congestion at the steps. Excuse me, dear, I'm just going down for some breakfast in my purple high heel shoes. <laughs> She's probably thinking, is that you, mother? Is that you that's just walked past me? I did not recognise you. And... Uh, Snowy is going to jump on the bed, causing all hell to break loose, maybe. Yep, he's going to do it. Get ready. Woo! Hmm, In fact, no, he hasn't woken him up. Just saying hello. Uh. Okay, he's off to chew his toys. Uh, Maya, keep doing your homework like a good girl. That's it. Lovely. Mikey, we don't have all day. Quickly, mm -hmm. get your full mm -hmm. night's rest and then we're off. Mm -hmm. We're packing mm -hmm. our bags mm -hmm. and we're going to France. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah. Quick bit of breakfast. So what? Oh no, sorry. Leftover pancakes. That's all we could have. Here we go. John's going to say hello to Snowy. Uh, say hello to Snowy. Say hello before you go on holiday. There we go, give him a quick treat, and a hug, and uh, rub his belly, before we go away. What's he doing? Tail up, ears pricked, what's he seen? Ubenezwee! Eva Jo! Lovely! <laughs> Tasty treat! So yes, uh, a new version of Fraps what? came out about two days ago, oh. and uh, instead of splitting the uh, the oh, recordings well. into four gigabyte parts, it now just mm. records it all into one file. Mm. And the game that used to freeze on me, remember the past Not couple of parts or so, the game's been freezing? It's been freezing at the end of each four gigabyte file. So even though it's recording continuously, when it stops at the end of the 4 gigabytes and has to start recording a new f a new file, <laughs> that's been oh causing God. the freezing issues. So now that it records into one file, 
I'm not getting any freezing issues at all. So the update to Fraps has solved my Sims problem just in time as well because it was really beginning to get me so frustrated. So I'm very, very, very happy about that. As John is going to actually do some uh, housework for the first, well, I don't say for the first time, but one of the very few times that she actually gets to mop out. This really is a new John. Right, well, she's just going to, uh, school bus is coming for Maya, Car carpool for Mikey. Uh-oh, we better get on a holiday before that damn carpool comes. Let's get this holiday booked. Booked it, packed it, and you know the rest. Uh, holiday, please. Uh, travel. Accept certain inalienable uh, uh. truths. Prices will rise. <laughs> Guess the song. Uh, can we ring away to get away here? We don't want to go to work. We want to get ourselves away. She's have to now kiss her dog, as she likes to do. Maya, is your homework done? She's working out till fatigue. No, don't break a sweat. You don't want to get yourself all sweaty for school, you silly girl. What's happening here? Mikey. No. There we go, with his walking stick. Look, oh yes, I am king of the world. Not quite your, the Lord Mayor of the town. Next best thing, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you see that? It's almost like a moonwalk. Almost like a, a statuesque. Uh, Jun and Mikey. It's going to cost us 1300 for three days. Let's go! Okay, here we go. We're off. Whatever you do, guys, do not burn down that house when we're not here. Because we'll know about it, I tell you. We will... Strike you down with great vengeance and furious anger if you do anything to my lovely home, thinks Mikey Jones. She's happy. She's going to be going on holiday for the first time, and we're off. Shang Simla awaits Mikey and Jun. Temporarily pausing until it loads. Oops. I was supposed to go to France, I clicked on China by mistake. Never mind, we'll make the most of a, a bad situation. <laughs> okay, we're back again. Oh boy. Okay, so a slight faux pas there. Jun and Mikey, the senile old fools that they are, stepped onto the wrong plane. <laughs> stepped onto the wrong plane. They, they thought they were going to, uh, to to France, ended up on the uh, 398BA flight to, uh, to China instead, and, uh, <laughs> well, a little bit surprised when they walked out. This doesn't look like France, they think. <laughs> But as I say, they will make the best of a bad situation. I say a bad situation. They will make the most of the situation that they have been granted. Oops, a daisy. Uh, I'm trying to clear their inventories for any sort of. Yeah, well. <laughs> we went to China instead, my kids. I apologize profusely. Maybe we can go to, ch uh, to, to, uh, to France after we've been to China. Maybe they're going to become compulsive travelers late in their life. Who knows? I will. Uh, we'll have to find out. So, we have 34000 to spend, and I'm wondering... Could we actually purchase a holiday home? I'm sure you can, but how do you go about doing it? That's the question. The Dragon's Maw! Okay, we're just going to leave them to do, do what they're going to do first. Probably check in with the uh, the board here. They're going to do some some adventuring, maybe. Some chilling out in the ah. evening. There we go! Uh, uh. 
I don't think John's happy to be in China, to be honest with you. <laughs> meet a local. Uh, meet a local. And see the terracotta army. And visit the Forbidden City. Uh, lots of things they want to do. So, uh, yeah, we'll... We'll check in with the base camp, say hello to the the, the folks, but then we'll uh, head out for an adventure, I think. First day in, no time to get accustomed with things too much, because we're going to swan off and try something adventurous. Yes, this, this rather epic climb up a hundred steps is takes it out of you, I tell you. And as people did point out, this isn't Mikey's first holiday. I forgot that Mikey came to China with the with the with his parents all those many moons ago. It was so long ago I forgot about it. But yes, they, they, he's been to China before. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he's reading. Why are you reading? You don't want to read that. You don't want to read something. You want to say hello to a. a, a oh, he's an explorer, not a local. Any locals here? No, more explorers. Okay. Well, I think what we'll do first of all is we just landed. No time for jet lag. I think we'll uh, have a quick discussion about what we're going to do. 